Well, here in London we have a public health emergency caused by the bad quality air and uh, what we're unveiling today is the largest and most comprehensive uh, amount of air quality sensors and monitors of any city in the world. And the reason why it's important for us to properly monitor uh, the air in London is so we can know where there is bad air, when there's bad air, but also take bold action. Uh, and it is the case in 2019 that here in London we have thousands of premature deaths directly caused by the bad quality air. We have children with underdeveloped lungs, stunted lungs for life caused by the bad quality air. We have adults with a whole host of health, health issues from asthma to dementia to heart disease directly caused by the bad quality air. So it's a public health emergency and we're taking bold action. So, so the reason why the air quality monitoring is so important is we will now be able to monitor across the whole of London uh, street by street, uh, the levels of NOx, nitrogen uh, dioxide, particulate matters and other dangerous uh, uh, molecules in the air causing all sorts of health problems, then we can take action. So for example, uh, during my time as mayor, we've already uh, got a number of policies that have been implemented from no longer buying diesel buses, only buying hybrid electric or hydrogen powered buses, making sure we have uh, low emission bus zones in London uh, so that those parts of London where there's the worst air, we have the cleanest buses, encouraging more people to walk and cycle. By freezing TfL fares, we're encouraging more people to use public transport. Uh, in October 2017, we introduced the world's first toxicity charge. Uh, from this April, in less than three months' time, we'll have the world's first ultra-low emission zone, which means uh, uh, you've got to be a, a clean vehicle to come into central London, and if you're not, you've got to pay a charge for uh, doing so. We're encouraging more children uh, to walk or cycle or scoot to school. And we also have, in a number of schools across uh, London, undertaken audits and then we've helped those schools clean up the air around uh, their schools. So in this school we're in, there is now a green wall which helps uh, clean up the air from outside the school as it comes into uh, their school. So, you know, a number of bold measures were taken, the most bold of any major city in the world, because it's really important we address the public health emergency caused by the bad quality air.